Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, before I go through this door, uh, this is the uh, final fight with uh, Gullnan and uh, her minions. Um, so basically I got the Potion of Blast, Potion of Barkskin down there, and I also talked to Tommy to get him back on his Kukri. It's basically the same process as getting him on the bow, and I told him to stay a medium distance away from me instead of close, so let's go do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Golnan's on the left side of the room, and I want to stay on the right side of the room as much as possible. Fall in behind me here. Fall in behind me here. Their time has come. Door in. Pause now. What are doing now? Halfway there. There's actually a wraith around here somewhere. Take care of him. Here comes Halfling Dead! Fall in behind me here. Okay, ducky. More zombies. Pray, whatever gods you worship. Stand your ground over there. Okay, ducky. <laughs> I don't want to face Gullnan with him running around. With the uh, Wraith running around anyway. Ooh, nice! <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to put the uh, short, uh, the long, the tall, the uh, tower shield Falling in my uh, behind bag. Me here. Oh. Okay, ducky. Let's do that right now. Might as well put this in there as well, since I'm definitely not going to be using it anymore. <laughs> Alright. Uh, alright, let's let's destroy this thing. It's a free uh, 200 HP uh, experience. Sweet. Right. Fall in behind me here. Okay, I think I may. Hopefully that did what it's supposed to. Alright, let's get the uh, potion of bless, potion of bark skin. On Tommy as well. And actually, I'll use the potion of cat's grace as well. Gives a boost to his dexterity, and Tommy's damage is based on his dexterity. So there we go. Let's do this. Fall in behind me here. Okay, Dougie. And there she is. Yes. <laughs> Potion of bull strength would be a, a good thing to use in this situation as well. She's got some. Insanely good spells. Let's take out the zone. Their time has come. Yes. yes! There's one spell you really want to watch out for. It does. Yes! Yes! She didn't get it off once! Yes, the spell I'm worried about is actually, uh... I don't know what it... I can't remember what it's called, but it, it does two forms of damage. You've got a scim the scimitar plus one that I'm definitely going to be uh, enchanting. And there we go. Awesome. More experience. But anyways, as I was saying, uh... she got a spell that does two forms of damage. Uh, divine and fire damage, so... And there's another Q3 plus one. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty nasty. You can. It, <laughs> let's put it this way. After she uses it, make sure you use a potion. <laughs> Alright, and I guess it looks like that's it. Alright, so I guess. Uh, I suppose I could head back to the Temple of Tear right now, but remember, we got some people we gotta report to, so I'll. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to head out here on foot again, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. And. Uh, go talk to Gemini about his brother, and then uh, I guess. Harbin to see uh, what his little extra payment is, and yeah, you don't have to, you, you don't need to talk to Captain Ergus for anything because he doesn't give you anything for giving you his guard back that he loves so much, bastard. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, you know, I'll be going to see Gemini and then uh, Harbin and then I'll head back to the Temple of Tear. So we've got the second reagent for the cure. We're halfway there. Man, this is a quick game. Your plague, and there you go. Hmm. <clears throat> All 
Alright, so I'll head out of here, I'll head out through the uh, gates of the graveyard back to the beggar's nest, and then I'll meet you... Actually, no, no, no I'll just show you where uh, Gemini's house is. So yeah, I'll meet you back in the beggar's nest. Alrighty, we're back. Hope Gemini doesn't take the news too hard. But yeah, I, I honestly, Golan is a lot more difficult than that than what I made it look out to be. But yeah, I just got extremely lucky with uh, breaking up her spells. Oh, well, there he is. Hi there. Well, at least the zombies have stopped. Do you know anything about that? I'm worried about my brother. He was mixed up in some cult. Yeah. Just, I'd just like to know where he is. Torn has never been gone this long. If you happen to buy, happen to buy the estate in the northwest, well, this is my problem. Well, I found just found this ring in the cult hideout. Recognize it? That's that's my brother's. He's always had it with him. He's dead. I know it. I thank you, and I don't know why you did this. You seem so harsh, but thank you. Eh, persuade. Damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. Awesome. All right. So I'll head back to the Shining Serpent, and I'll meet you there. All right. Yeah, there he is. I knew you'd help us buy villagers. <laughs> I heard about what you did before, and knew you'd take care of business. Oh, I love Harbin. <laughs> if you found anything, if you found anything important in that mess, report it to Arabeth. She's keeping score or some such. I found the water Davian Yanti creature. It was it raised the zombies. A Yanti. The search for a cure must not be going well if they're willing to risk dealing with one of those. I have no information on what to do with it. She, you'd best take it to Arabeth. She'll want to look at it. Eh, am I to be rewarded for my efforts? Fair enough, I know Arabeth is more keen on duty as its own reward. Me, I like coins. Here's 500 gold. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's persuade him. Damn, oh well. Uh, Alrighty. Alright, now we can go back to the temple of Alright, uh, do I have anything that I need to hand in or anything like that? Uh, let's uh, let's on this letter. Holy crap. I thought I already handed that over. <laughs> I guess not. All right, let's go get hand it over to uh, Fenthic and uh, talk to Arabeth. I was wondering why they kept popping up every time I talked to Arabeth. Well, oh, all right. Hello again, and well met as always. Is there something I may do for you? I thought you might be interested in this note. What do we have here? Hmm. It seems the plague was unleashed on us as a part of some greater plot. We may have worse trials ahead of us than the Wailing Death. Aww. What could be worse than the Wailing Death, Fenthic? I fear Kel is playing a trick on you with this so-called evidence of some grand conspiracy. Why would I do such a thing? Perhaps this is some kind of sick joke on your part, Kel, or maybe you thought it'd be... thought you'd to get some kind of reward for this flimsy piece of paper. Please, Dester, I hardly think Kel is the kind of man to do such a thing. I think this bears further investigation, at the very least. Rest assured that I intend to follow every lead in my efforts to find out who is behind the suffering of Neverwinter. You have done well to bring this to me, Kel. It is honor to, honor to serve Neverwinter, Fenthic. Alrighty, let's persuade him. Damn, alright. No, I'll be going. Alright, now let's go talk to Erebeth and uh, hand over the reagent. Welcome back. You have done a great thing in recovering the first of the reagents for us. It is but one small step towards our ultimate goal, but it gives me hope. And I know with your help, Neverwinter shall yet be saved. I have recovered one of the reagents for the cure. Well done. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I explained about the Yanti. I heard of the trouble in the beggar's nest. This malevolent thing was behind it, as if the plague was not enough. Where others have found only failure, you have discovered shining success. Neverwinter is in your debt. Battling the plague has drained the coffers of Neverwinter. I regret I cannot offer you more than 500 gold pieces for all you have accomplished. Thank you, Erebeth. You are most generous. Is there something else you need? Uh, no. Farewell. May Tyr guide your steps. Alright, it looks like this is going to be a slightly shorter than usual video, but, uh, you yeah, know, that's the end of the second part, uh, the beggar's nest, so I guess we'll talk to Arabeth next time, and uh, 
find out where we gotta go next, alright? Uh, and also I'll sell off my excess equipment and all that kind of stuff. I will not be selling the Scimitar Plus One. I'll actually, next episode or two, I'll be uh, catching up with the uh, the henchmen's stories and all that kind of stuff. And I'll actually start uh, forging some uh, items to sell off, I guess, in my case. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so I'll... Yeah, okay, maybe it's not as short as I thought it would be. <laughs> alright, so I'll see you next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.